So ZBrush is like any other piece of software, it crashes. Uh, it crashes from time to time uh, and sometimes it crashes harder than others. Obviously the worst time is when you're doing a file save. Uh, if you're going up here to your file save as menu or hitting control S and if it crashes at that stage that's your absolute worst nightmare. Um, so I just thought we'd talk about what we can do to try and avoid those crashes or to fix the file that is causing those crashes. Or at least find a workaround so you can continue working. So the first thing to understand is that when you hit control S on this or for file save as, you're saving all of your sub tools. So if any of those sub tools have a problem, that may be causing the issue. So if you're just interested in one particular tool with these sub tools as part of that tool, well then maybe consider using the tool save as instead. So this tool save as will just save this one tool and not anything else that happens to be in your project. This will save it as a ZTL file, which will be a lot smaller than the CPO file, which you'd get from the file save as menu. Uh, and because of that, it might be that little bit more stable. So try that first. One other thing you can do before doing that is go to, if you sit all low on your models and go to low subdivision level, that will do two things. It'll make your file slightly smaller when you save as a ZTL. For some reason, it does actually make it smaller um, and it's just that little bit less likely to crash. Speaking of file sizes, Make sure you actually do have enough space on the drive that you're working on. You should always have at least 10% free on any given drive of the, the total capacity that you have. So obviously if your drive is full, Zebras can't save there, so it's gonna crash. That may be a cause, you never know, it's worth checking. The next thing you can do is turn off your undo history. So if we go down to preferences, undo history, uh, enable saving is on by default. If you turn that off, it's gonna take off all of the undo history from everything. Uh, which may be causing issues as well and it's going to significantly reduce your file size so i personally would always encourage turning that off when, when doing your save but that may help with your file save as or your tool save as the next thing to check is well if the file save as is crashing is the quick save crashing if you hit nine on your keyboard or use the quick save button when you press the comma key that will go into your quick save folder and with a bit of luck uh, your file will be in there and still working Another way to save the ZTL is to go to your plugin and go to Subtool Master, which is installed by default, and you can save the Z tool from there. What that will do is sometimes if a subtool has a part that's hidden, so say for example here, I had some of this hidden, I'll just undo that, um, but I may not have been aware of it as I'm you know, looking around my file. So this, or maybe I have subtools hidden over here, and if you try and save, that may sometimes cause a crash. So this plugin here will actually try and avoid that um, and unhide those temporarily. One thing you can do to, to try and avoid that is to use a utility to go through. I personally do not want to go to every sub tool and press control and shift and tap on the keyboard, control and shift and tap on the keyboard to make sure that I have everything unhidden. So what I would do is I'd use the Z repeated plugin. You can grab that from the Pixelogic website. You'll find that here on the Pixelogic ZBrush Download Center Z plugins. I'll put a link in the video description, but basically scroll a good bit down and you'll find that down there. Uh, so get that, install it, and restart ZBrush. Once you've done that, we can go to our Z plugin. I'm going to select any sub tool here. Uh, I'll go down to Z repeat it, and I'll say record a new script. So all I need to do with this is hold Control and Shift, and then just tap anywhere on the keyboard or anywhere on the canvas. That will bring everything back. Um, so whichever sub tool I'm on, that will bring it back. So then once I've done that, I can just say end record and call this unhide. I will say yes or no to this, it doesn't really matter. But from here then, if I, if I go to plugin and I say uh, unhide, I should make sure we have our unhide script done and I say all, it will go through all of the sub tools rather than just the selected or the visible ones and make sure that any parts of them that may have been hidden are unhidden. Now it won't unhide the entire sub tool itself, but we can do that very quickly by just shift clicking on the eye icon and that will bring everything back. Try saving your ZTL file again like this and hopefully you'll have more success. Another thing that may be going wrong is that there may actually be a technical problem or a face or vert problem with one of your actual sub tools here. So the way to check that is to go down to the geometry roll up here. And if you scroll down to the end of that, you'll see that there's a mesh integrity roll up. And from there, there's a check mesh info. So if you click on this, it'll actually tell you if there's non-manifold edges or isolated vertices or any problems with that mesh. And then usually you can just hit fix mesh and it will fix that. So what we want to do is actually hit these two buttons on every subtool just to check through them all, just because you may or may not have a lot of subtools and you don't want to do this manually every single time. So we can again use that Z repeater plugin up here. We can just say record a new one, go down to a geometry, hit fix or check mesh integrity, and then hit fix mesh. 
I'm just clicking after each of these. And then once done, just end that recording. We call this fix meshes. Uh, we say yes to that. And then from plugin, now we can just say the fix message script is loaded. Run that across all subtools. And you can see it's going to cycle through all the subtools now and basically make sure that they're all, uh, that the mesh integrity on all of them is good. Again, try save your ZTL file from here and hopefully you'll have a better result. If you have one subtool that you're, you think is the problem, maybe it's this one here, for example, and maybe it's just the undo history of that, you can also go to the undo here and say, just delete the undo history of that. And that will delete that and then hopefully you'll have a more solid object here. Again, try save as a ZTL file. The last thing I'd advise is that you actually, rather than save, you just hit export. Um, so if you do it from the tool menu here, you can choose to export as an, an FBX file or as an OBJ file. And if you do that and then try and bring it back in again afterwards, restart ZBrush and try use the import button to bring it back in again. I really hope one of these tips helps you out if you're really stuck and your files are causing you a problem. Um, if you have any other tips for trying to get around this crash, please do let me know. It'd be great for other users to see it as well. And yeah, hopefully it helps. Um, Consider subscribing, liking, all that kind of usual YouTube stuff um, for more content. All right, bye.